Hi everybody, I'm Joey, and I've got a really cute gift card holder for you tonight uh, that you can make easily for the Christmas holidays coming up, or you could even adapt it to birthdays or any other occasion. So I'm going to, uh, before we get started here, I have to get myself going on my iPad so I can see. Last night my iPad did not want to cooperate, and I couldn't get it. Oh, but tonight it looks like it's going to, so there I am on my iPad, and then I can see what you're seeing. Hi, Jackie. So when you come on, say hi. Let me know where you're from, or you can share what you've been doing today, or something good that happened to you today. Uh, today, I got a lot of stuff done. Um, I got some orders all put together, and I ran an adhesive special right before... Um, at the middle of middle towards the end of September and all those orders came in and I got all those sorted today and there I am on the my laptop and then I can see your comments too hi Jenny hi Diane okay people are finding me so that's good news so today we are doing week 11 in the 12 weeks of Christmas and if you watched me last night, I did week 12 last night because I'm a week behind. I took um, a chance to go on vacation with my girlfriends last night, my high school girlfriends. We try to go on a trip together every year. We don't make it every year, but most years. And of course, through COVID, we, we didn't get to do it. So I went to Palm Springs last night, and last week, instead of staying home to work. And I'm glad I did. But that makes us do two weeks of the 12 weeks of Christmas in one week. So that's why we're on tonight. Hi, Diane. Okay, so I think we're ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead and click a toolbar here. And then I'll go upside down, but you'll be right side up. So... Let's go ahead and it takes a moment for the camera for Facebook to catch up. But I wanted to give you just a little bit more information about the 12 weeks of Christmas, the way I'm planning to do it. Hold on, I got to adjust my phone a little bit more because it's not, it's down too low. And I think it's going to be hard to video. Sorry if you get motion sick. Um... Don't look for a second till we get settled in here <laughs> a little bit more. It looks like I need to go a little bit this way. See if that's right. And that looks just about right. Okay, so that's better. So the 12 weeks of Christmas, um, I'm doing it with a fellow team mate of mine, a fellow demonstrator. She's on my team. And we're going to bring you some 12 projects. We're going to use three stamp sets and bundles. So... The three bundles we're using are the one we're using tonight, which is Celebrate with Tags. Um, this one, I'll show you more about that because we're going to work with that one tonight. And then we're also using the Handmade Wishes and the Decorated with Happiness. So you'll have 12 complete projects with those three bundles. And this week we're doing Celebrate with Tags. Next week we're doing Celebrate with Tags. And then the coming weeks, we'll do the other two bundles. And we also limited the products we're using. So we're using the um, Bows of Holly paper. It's this really beautiful paper that's pretty traditional Christmas with the poinsettias and the holly and the Christmas trees, more poinsettias, and then kind of a neutral woodsy type background and then that one so that's the bells of holly paper we're using we're using uh consumables that total about fifty dollars if you buy them in a pack and i will have an email in a couple of weeks that will give you the opportunity to um excuse me to purchase the whole packet of materials that we're using this is the sweetest christmas paper so this is part of the candy the sweetest candy cane um sweet if you uh, know those products if you don't um that's what they're part of and if you don't know about that and you'd like to know more about it um and you don't have a stampin up demonstrator i'd be happy to send you a catalog so you can see what that's all about 
Um, then we're also using two uh, packets of ribbons. So the red, the traditional real red and garden green ribbon, and then that's really pretty um, iridescent trim. This is a new roll. I haven't even opened it yet. So I've already gone through one or two rolls of this. So we're using that, and then we're using the festive pearls. And the other embellishment we're using are the self-adhesive seasonal sequins. Mine are kind of scattered here, but in each pack of sequins, there are green. And this is kind of a strawberry red. It's not a true red, white and gold. So those are the things we're gonna be creating with. So we limited it to a certain group of products. Um, so if you wanted to recreate these, you would know what we're using and you could recreate them. Um, the only way you're gonna get my PDF tutorials, so they're exclusive to my Facebook, to my newsletter subscribers. So right now, before we get going on this project, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the comments my um, the link to sign up for my newsletter so that you don't miss on any you don't miss out on any pdf tutorials the pdf tutorials have um all the they have a list of all of the supplies i use i didn't bring one down with me i should have because i've got them both done for these two weeks but um list of all the supplies we use um the numbers the order numbers and even the prices and then a complete set of directions and all of the measurements and what else and close-up pictures so that's what we'll be going out just as a thank you to my newsletter subscribers so i wanted to show you a little bit more about the bundle we're using tonight so it's on page 67 of the this is the holiday we call it the holiday mini catalog stampin up calls it the january july through december 2022 and we're using this bundle celebrate with tags so we're using it for christmas because it's such a great one to use for tags for christmas or even cards we're going to do a gift card with it tonight a gift card holder but you can also use it for birthdays and then even maybe even valentine with the made with love and uh the heart. So it's on page 67. The bundle number is 159867. So that's what we're using tonight, and that's where you can find it. Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Let me grab my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine because we have to do a little bit of die cutting. I've got to get my other bits and pieces out of the way here, though, so let's get going here. Hi, Kathy. All right, so let's go ahead. Let me grab that and the dies for a minute. minute. Okay, so let me get this. We're not ready for this yet, so I'll get that out of the way. Um, now, you can do this, the part I'm going to show you now, you can do it one of two ways. So, um, we're going to use a piece of red, real red cardstock that's three and a half by six and one eighth. And the three and a half doesn't matter. I mean, you do have to have it close to this wide for the tag die, but the six and one eighth is the critical part um, of your scrap paper, and I'll show you why. So, the way we're going to die cut this is this is a larger die from i have to think about how i'm doing this yeah this is a larger die from those tags dies there are two that cut out tags so there's that one and this one they both have score lines where they fold over i don't know if i'm in the camera i can't tell okay so that's that one so uh what you'll do if you cut your cardstock the six and one eighth um, imperial then you're going to put the okay so this is the side of the tag that had these two things are flaps that fold over and I'll show that to you more in a minute but you want the of uh, the opposite end of those the skinnier and you want that butted up against your the top of your cardstock here okay and that'll make sense in a minute once we get a little bit further with this. So I'm gonna lay that on. 
and we'll get this over the middle and then we'll run it through here sorry everything is kind of moving around a little bit on my desk so get that run through there and before we put this away we do have to do a little bit of stamping so let's go ahead and before we get too far with this let's do our stamping and then die cutting and then we'll be ready to assemble our card okay so i'm going to grab trying to grab um this die and the mittens we need this to these two dies and then going to go ahead and stamp our mitten. Hang on a second, I gotta find what I did with my stamp. Okay. Oh, I left it on my stamparatus from last night, so that'll work, that'll work just fine. So this is a stamp that it has a lot of it has a lot of flat space on it, so sometimes it helps to stamp with your stamparatus uh, to get a more clear image. So I'm gonna, let's get rid of these dies out of the way here. And let's go ahead and grab our Real Red ink pad. Um, if you're watching on Facebook and you haven't liked or followed my page yet, uh, I invite you to do that, then you won't miss any of our 12 days of Christmas or any of the other things that I post and share. Because I post a lot of things on my page, not just projects, actually. We have a pretty active community that shares with, with each other and talks to each other and uh, makes friends on that community. So that's on my Create with Joey Facebook page. And then if you're watching on YouTube, um, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the video and you think uh, future vid videos might be helpful to you. So there's our Real Red Mitten. And then what do we need? Oh, so the other thing we need is we're going to go ahead and just take that, get ready to die cut that. And then we're going to stamp Merry Christmas. And I think we'll just... We're gonna use this die for that. So I think I'll just kind of try and figure out to make room on my cardstock, how everything will fit together on the one piece of cardstock so I can die cut it all at one time. And we'll just do Merry Christmas right here. Yeah, that stamped pretty good. Real Red is always pretty good about stamping a real solid image. I don't know what it is about Real Red. Other colors do too, but Real Red's really dependable. So if your Real Red ink pad isn't stamping, clearly you might just need to uh, refill your ink pad with, or use your ink refill and re-ink your ink pad. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back I'm not usually on Thursday nights, so I won't be surprised if we don't have quite as many watching tonight. Usually I'm on Wednesday, but um, I had to make up my 12th week of Christmas, so we're doing that tonight, and hopefully um, everyone that usually watches will catch it on the replay. So let's go ahead and get this taped down. I'm just using a little bit of washi tape since I'm um, using dies around images. I don't want the dies to move very much. I'm having a hard time looking at this crooked, so I'm going to turn it towards me and get this straightened around here. We are having some lovely weather today, but it's windy. But it's been in the 70s today. Um, it's just been beautiful. We've had some just beautiful fall weather. I hope it continues and we don't get any anything else coming in here before it's time. I won't say the word, but it begins with S and N. If you know what I'm talking about, if you live in the Midwest or 
the mid part of the U.S. or even the eastern part of the U.S. I guess northwestern U.S. gets snow too, probably. The south of the U.S. doesn't get too much of it. Uh, Texas and Florida and the southern states, Arizona. In Palm Springs, it was 100 degrees last week. It was very, very warm. Um, so I hope we find... We travel all over on our girls' trips. We go to... Oh, we've been all over. We've even been to Mexico. We've been to several times to California, um, all over the U.S. Okay, there we go. There's that. Now, I think we're ready for the rest of our project. So, I don't know about you, but I do use a lot of gift card holders in the holiday season. And so I like to dress them up a little bit and not just give a plain gift card. So that's what we're going to do with this. So let me show you how to use this little guy here. There's a score line. Hopefully you can see that here. And I'm going to just, this score line isn't really deep. So it's easy to get it to fold in the wrong place if you aren't pretty careful with it. So... You just have to look at it and make sure you're on the correct line. So there it is again. It's the middle one. Because there's kind of a decorative edge here as well. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little ledge here around. It's a little bit decorative. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's get this guy folded in the middle too. Um, to make our actual gift card holder. And the reason I said, let's do your, um, let's get some, let's get some liquid glue on this. The reason I said to cut your tag at six and one eighth is because then this flap is already ready for you to fold up and it's the right size to make a little square for your designer series paper so that your designer series paper can just be two by two. Now let's see, well, looking at this, it looks like I didn't cut it very well, but that's the idea. Well, I guess it's pretty good, that'll work. So then we're gonna take a little two by two piece of designer series paper and we're just going to, hi Char. Oh, thanks for sharing, I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's just go, this is gonna go on a card like this. So let's go this way, okay? This is an easy gift card holder, so you can make a lot of these quickly if you need them. I've given more and more gift cards as my nieces and nephews that we still give gifts to have gotten older. Because one is married with children, so I, just, you know, don't really know what would she would like. Here was that DSP, it's two by two. And now we're gonna take another piece of DSP. This one is three by four. Okay, so that's that. And then this is the candy cane paper, the sweetest. Hmm, sweetest, somewhat, what did I say it was? I'll look it up in a minute. We're gonna just put a little bit of these candy canes. Now these candy canes can actually be cut out with the dies that go with the sweetest candy cane uh, bundle. So we're gonna put that down there. And before we go much further with this, let's finish this. So this, this is part of the set of dies, this stitched rectangle. And so I don't want any glue to get here. So I'm gonna be pretty careful about where I'm putting this glue. And I'm, I'm not raising this up on a dimensional because I'm going to put a mitten on it and I don't want a whole bunch of bulk right there in the middle of my card. So this is going to come up probably about there. I'm trying to look at this so there's kind of an even um, 
border around those three sides. That's how I'm trying to gauge that. And so this is gonna leave it um, completely free for our gift card. Then let's go ahead while we're at this, making the tag, let's go ahead and adhere our mitten. We're gonna put him kind of right across the corner here like this. So the mitten is raised up a little bit, except I don't want that to show. So sometimes you can just kind of roll your dimensionals. And if you're lucky, especially if you've just put them down, they'll roll pretty good for you and you can move them. Okay, so there's that. Then, or that's, oh, we need to do uh, some ribbon tying. So we're gonna go to the red and green ribbon that we talked about earlier, I showed you, and we're gonna get the ribbon out. Hi, Alice from Indiana, and Carol from Minnesota. Hi, Pam. Oh, thanks for sharing, Alice. I really appreciate it. Uh, my page has grown from about well, it's grown quite a bit. It's up to, well, for me, it's grown, grown quite a bit. I'm up to 700, over 700 people following my page. So thank you for sharing. That's how people find me. And hopefully I have something that can help them too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tie this. This ribbon ties really nicely, by the way. You get the pack of the real red and the garden green, which are perfect Christmas colors if you like traditional Christmas. And it ties really pretty. It's easy to tie. It looks really pretty when it's tied. So it's just a really nice ribbon combo. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this up here. I want that bow tail to go that way instead of the other way. Well, that's not perfect, but we're going to call it good for the sake of video. Okay, so we've got that on there. And then let's go ahead and this I am going to raise up. Now, our card is opening this way. I forgot to mention that. So this is a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper cut in half at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half. And it's opening from the side like this. So now I'm going to just take my little gift card holder and I'm actually feeling around here for where those dimensionals aren't that I already used on the mitten because I don't want that double stack of dimensionals just makes things harder to mail so I don't know that I'd mail a gift card anyway I probably wouldn't but you could stick a check in there too that would work okay too I wouldn't send cash Okay, so let's, we've got that. Then, um, what, what else do we need? Okay, we need our inside greeting. Well, we need a couple of other things here. So, we need a little piece of cardstock. This one is two by three and a fourth. And while you're maybe taking a, cre a screenshot or writing that down if you want to again if you get my pdf tutorials you don't have to write any of this down it's free to my newsletter subscribers and i'll be going out this week along with this project that i made last night so this was our first uh 12 weeks of christmas project so if you missed that you might want to host gear deli holders and this is made with the same dye that i used on this one same stamp set same same everything but just a different little treat box. Okay, so this piece is two by three and a fourth, and this is what we're gonna put our two and our from. I'm gonna get rid of all this clutter here. Our two and our from is gonna go on this. And I like this to and from, it's nice and big, um, which means you can actually write names. You know those little tiny tags that have the little tiny to and from, I'm kind of like, okay, there's a to and from, but can I actually write anything on it? Because they're just so little. Okay, so there's that. Then we're gonna do a little more stamping here. We're gonna stamp on the inside of our card. So I'm gonna take another stamp that's in that stamp set and make an, Put an inside greeting 
And this is just, the outside says Merry Christmas. So this one says Be Jolly. And those are the two Christmas greetings in this set. Then I'm going to dress it up just a little bit more. It's always fun to dress up the insides of your cards too. So I'm going to, going to actually go to one of the other stamp sets I showed you that we'd be using for this whole series. So this one, um, Handmade Wishes, has this little tree. It has gingerbread and holly. It has a lot of cute little stamps in it. So we're going to use this Christmas tree, and we're going to use the snowflakes down here for the inside of our card on this one. So I'm going to grab the, whoops, we don't want real red anymore. We want garden green for our little Christmas tree. And let's just go ahead and, this is a photopolymer stamp, so that helps us see through. I'm gonna just put it right on top of that greeting, so to speak. And then we're gonna put a few uh, pool party snowflakes around. So let's grab the pool party ink and the, these little snowflakes, and then I'm going to just do a little random stamping, kind of like so. Okay, and then there's still room to write your greeting. And just wanna clean these off quick. Okay, so there's the inside. Then we just have to decorate the outside and I'll show you how a gift card fits in here. It works really perfectly and they can even see it. So, you know, sometimes, at, a lot of times at Christmas time, you can find, you know, really cute gift cards. They have Santas and snowmen or lots of or gifts on them. So I'm gonna grab, this happens to be a coffee place we have in Lincoln. I meant to kind of clean that card off, but you know, I could put this in like this and it fits perfectly. And then I can put my to and from in there too. And that can all go in there and it makes just a nice little package. Oh, we don't have our gems on here. We got to finish, put our bling on here. So let's go in and we're going to grab the green ones for this one. The green, all these sequins are a little bit iridescent. So they're going to pop up, show up really well. So I'm going to put one here in the middle of the snowflake on the ribbon. And then let's use, oh, let's use some other colors. So I'm gonna pull in the, these red-ish ones. There's sweet sorbet in here in this candy cane paper. This is sweet sorbet and that stripe is, so it's kind of throughout here. And I think these are closer to sweet sorbet than they are to actual real red, but they look nice with the paper. So we're gonna use them. Oops, let's put a green one. Let's kind of mix up the red and green a little bit. And let's put another green one maybe here. And then maybe another red one down here. And then voila, that didn't take me very long to make that. And I pretty much made it from scratch. So you could do that quickly too. Um, you could make, you could definitely make several of these in an hour and stick your gift cards in and you're all set to go. So there's our second project for our 12 weeks of Christmas. And I'll be live every Wednesday, uh, Wednesday nights at 6.30 is my usual night um, with our other 10 projects. We've got 10 more coming up. So if you'd like to see those, just make sure, if you'd like, to see those, just put a reminder on your calendar or your phone. And then, um, or if you'd like to get the PDF tutorials for free, then just make sure you sign up for my newsletter. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, you can uh, just find the link in the comments and sign up for my newsletter as well. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Do you have any questions? I will watch the comments to see if you have any questions. So if you do, I can answer them. Um, I'll try to stay on just a few seconds to see. I've seen thumbs up and some hearts, so thank you for that.
appreciate it. And if you do have questions later, if you're watching replay, which I'm guessing a lot of uh, my normal followers are going to be watching replay because they're used to me on. Oh, thanks for the hearts and the kisses. Um, they're used to watching me on Wednesdays, not Thursday. So I think they'll be watching the replay. So if you are watching replay or even on YouTube, if you're watching replay and you have a comment, um, I'd love to, I go back and check all my comments, so I will get back to you. And if you have a question, please feel free to ask a question. I'm glad you guys like it. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and spending your valuable time with me. I don't take that lightly, and I'm really grateful that you were here with me tonight. So I hope I'll see you the next time. Take care, everybody. Good night.